Welcome to our class today. We are solving a question by dimensional analysis using the Rayleigh's method. So in our previous video, we learned how to solve dimensional analysis equations using the Buckingham's Pi theorem. So students today, please let's have a look at this question that asks us to, uh, to solve it, the dimensional analysis. We are given the F being the drag force you have the rho being the mass density, V as velocity, L as the length, uh, the mu as dynamic viscosity, and G the gravitational acceleration. So let's copy our question like it is. So we have the F. So F uh, is equal to rho V squared L squared function of rho V L over mu comma lg over v squared so we said if you are given such a question the first thing is first of all write all the variables so the variables here variables we have f we have the row we have v we have l so we are not going to repeat the same because they are simply inside the bracket we still have the row v l so Whatever is appearing new here is mu and um, and g. So v is already here. So after having all the variables, now bring in their dimensions, the dimension of each and every variable. So for the f, we know that f, since that we are told that f is the drag force, f is the drag force. So the variables for f is always m, l, t negative, 2. For the rho, mass density, that is mass per unit volume, so it's m l negative 3. We have the speed, which is distance per unit time, l t negative 1. Uh, we also have the length, which is denoted l. Uh, we have dynamic viscosity mu, given as m l negative 1 t negative 1. Uh, acceleration due to gravity g, so this is m sorry this is l t negative 2 l t negative 2 so we have the six variables given as that now in Rayleigh's method uh, what you do is that you write all the variables and now introduce the powers in terms of a b c and d to all not actually d but entire values in your variables so f is equal to rho raised to a V raised to B, L raised to C, mu raised to D, and G raised to E. So remember we've introduced the powers of on each and every variable, A, B, C, D, and E. Now, bring in the variables like they are, but now in terms of their dimensions. Now, all these are dimensions. Please, if you're having a challenge on dimensions, I did this in our previous video. Please get to our previous video and see how what are the dimensions when you are given a certain equation. Now, procedure number two was to tell us that these are dimensions. Dimensions. Now, bring in the variables like they are. Now, for the f, we know f is m l t negative two. Is now equal to this is the density so the dimensions like they are we have m l negative 3 so put all this in bracket and write the power of a make this a bit different for us to understand we having the next variable is v so l t negative 1 and then a bracket and we are having uh, b this this was our B, so this is raised to B, B here. The next variable is L, so this is L, put it in bracket, and this is raised to C. Uh, next variable of the test is mu, so M, L, T, negative 1. This is raised to D. The last variable is now g, which is l, t negative 2, raised to e. 
be. Now, reaching there, please now get to know the values. So we come and write here solve for M, L, and T from the left hand side. So in this, in our F, this is like M raised to 1 for the powers and L raised to 1, then T raised to negative 2. So we are going to pick the powers of each and every values for M, for L, and for T. So let's begin with the M. So this is M raised to 1. So simply, we love M is equal to M is 1 being equal to, this is M raised to A. So we love our value of A here. A plus another place where we have an M is here. So M raised to D. So plus D. Let's move on to L. So this is 1 equal to, this is negative 3A, the right hand side. So negative 3A. Uh, another L is here raised to B positive, so plus B. This is plus C, uh, plus negative 1D, so this is minus D. And lastly, L raised to E positive, so plus E. The last value is now for T, which is raised to negative 2, so we love our 2 here being equal to all the values for T. So 2, negative 2, sorry, this is raised to power of negative 2 being equal to, so this is B, negative B, and we have another T here, which is minus D, and lastly, minus 2E, this one. Now, we remember we have five unknowns here. We have A, B, C, D, and E. They are all unknowns. So, please solve or get to know the values. So, solve, solve A, B and C in terms of in terms of D and E. So when you say you solve in terms of D and E, what you're simply saying is that you can have a value of A, B and C, but inside them you can still have the value, you can still have maybe D and E appearing being also the unknown values. For example, let's begin by getting the value of A in this equation here. So this is one being equal to a plus d. So the value of a here would be a is equal to, we take d to the other side, it becomes negative. So 1 minus d. So that would be our value of a. So this is our value of a. Let's also get the value of b. So if we do it with the second variable, with the second equation here, we have around four unknowns. So we can simply get B here because it's also in terms of D and E. So from T, we know that negative 2 is equals to negative B minus D minus 2E. You want to get the value of, of B. So simply take B to the other side and 2 would come to this other side. So this is having B being equal to 2 positive minus D minus 2 E, and that is our value of B. Lastly, is the value of C, which we can pick it from L. So we have 1 is equal to negative 3A plus B plus C minus D and plus E. So we need to be very much careful, especially when dealing with very huge small numbers as this. So we want to get the value of C. We already have A and B. So wherever we have a A, we are going to replace it with 1 minus D. In place of B, we replace with this value here. So with this, so we have 1 is equal to negative 3. What is our A? 1 minus D. So plus B. And our B is 2 minus D minus 2E. So plus bracket of 2 minus D minus 2e. We close that bracket plus c, which we are yet to find, plus d plus e. Minus d, I'm sorry. This is minus, yeah. So let's open the brackets. So 1 is equal to negative 3 plus 3d uh, plus 2. So positive and negative becomes a minus, so minus d then this also becomes minus 2e 
plus C minus D and then plus E. Now collect all the like terms. So we have 1 is equal to, we have negative 3 and 2 here. We don't have any other number here, so negative 3 plus 2. And then let's pick all the terms for D plus 3D minus D. We have another D here, minus D. So we are, we are done with D. We still have 2. So not 2, but E. So minus 2E plus E plus C. And this is what you want to find. So this is equal to 1 is equal to 3, negative 3 plus 2 is minus 1. So 3D minus D and another D. So this is plus D. Uh, 2E plus E becomes minus E uh, plus C. So, so we let's now take one to the other side so you can remain with C here. So if you take one to the across the equal sign, this becomes 2. This is positive, so on the other side it becomes negative. So minus D plus E is equal to C, and that is the value of C. Value of C. So friends, wherever we have A, B, and C, we're going to replace with the values that we have already got there. Let's get back here and replace those values in terms of their powers. So we have rho A, B, B like that. So wherever we have A, for example, for A, we'll have 1 minus D. For B is V raised to all this. So let's rewrite our equation as that. So we have F being directly proportional to the rho of A. What is our A? It's 1 minus D. Then the second one is V. And the v, v is raised to 2 minus D minus 2E. That is for the V. And then C. C, the value of C is raised to 2 minus D plus E. Then we have mu raised to D. And lastly, G raised to E. So those are our values. Now, I'll just open these values. So if we open these values, we have rho raised to 1 and rho raised to negative D. Then V raised to 2, V raised to negative D here, and V raised to negative 2, E. Next for the L is L raised to 2, L raised to negative D, L raised to E. Then mu raised to D and rho raised to E. That's still our f. Now let's pick all the whole numbers. We have rho raised to 1, v raised to 2, and l raised to 2. So let's write all those. So rho v squared and l squared. Next, let's pick all with the powers raised to d. Powers raised to d. So with all powers raised to d, I have this value here. With power raised to negative d. This one negative d, another earlier raised to negative d, and mu raised to d. So that one would be our numerator. So this is mu d over, we have rho, v, and l. All these are raised to d. Lastly, all, various, all variables that are raised to e. So raised to e, uh, I have v raised to 2e negative, so simply v squared on the denominator because it's raised to negative. And I have an l here and then a g, so all these are raised to e. So we almost concluding this equation. The last bit of it is that in our equation, remember it was in form of rho l squared v squared, uh, the constant and then rho l v rho v l over mu so that simply tells us that this the, 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 um, the powers d and e we're going to introduce a negative for them to for for us to have mu on the new on the denominator and rho v l as the numerator this way
So this can be written as f being directly proportional to. So the moment you introduce a proportionality constant, you simply don't have to put an equal sign by the way. So f is directly proportional to rho vl over mu mu raised to negative d, and then v squared. This one, had no, there's no need of, of put it, uh, introducing an, a negative power. So we'll just pick it like it is, Lg over V squared. So the final question here would be F being equal to, because introducing an equal sign for the constant of proportionality. So F being equal to rho, rho v squared l squared and that then finishing it with rho v l over mu put a comma and lg over v squared then please consider to ignore ignore the unknown unknown powers the unknown powers here are negative d and e. So this is our final question. So the method we've simply done is known as Rayleigh's method of dimensional analysis. So it's that very simple. So please keep on supporting us. We thank you for watching and please follow us in case you have any question concerning the same. Please comment and you can forward those questions to us in our comment section.